Hi guys, so a little while back over on Instagram, I asked all of you, what's the silliest reason you've had for not picking up a book? And we are going to be looking through all of your answers. Starting, oh my gosh, you guys, hold on. Look at this, look at all of the responses. <laughs> Jumping into it, the first one says, when struggling to pick between two, I get my boyfriend to pick and then instantly don't wanna read it anymore. I feel like that is exactly how every mood reader feels. The second they make a TBR, they wanna read everything that's not on their TBR. Unless in this instance, it's like, oh, my boyfriend has bad taste, so whatever he picks is what I shouldn't read. I'm not really sure which one it is, but that was pretty funny. The next one says, because it's too popular. Yeah, I think there are a lot of people who feel like the hype is just going to completely ruin their view of something, so I don't know if that's too silly, but I can see why you would maybe feel like you're being shallow or unfair, but at the end of the day, I mean, I guess if there's a lot of hype and it's super popular, it's, it's doing all right. The next one says it's too big. <laughs> uh, yes, I definitely, every now and then, you know, you just, you don't have the time. Okay, next one says, the character was the name of this girl at school who was my <laughs> arch nemesis. <laughs> that actually, okay, that's like one of the silliest ones I think we've come across so far. Um, I don't know that I've ever, I don't know that I've ever done that. The next one says there are too many books in the series. Yes, I feel that big time. That I think is, especially when you just, it's never ending. I mean, you feel like if you pick it up, you're gonna be with it either for years or you're not gonna be able to read anything else unless you take breaks. But if you're the kind of person that likes to read straight through a series and you know, you're not really gonna get to read anything else. The next one says, I read the back, but hot chocolate distracted me. I forgot to buy the book. <laughs> So wait, if you're the person who left this, are you saying that you went to buy a book, but there was a cafe in the bookstore and you're like, wait, and you're like holding the book and you're like, hot chocolate though. And then ran to get hot chocolate and then was like, I love hot chocolate and then left or how did this happen? I need details. This next one says, most really popular books I hear too much about, I just don't want to read, such as Scythe and Nevernight. Ah, that's kind of similar to the other one that was talking about popular books. Scythe is great though. Except for, I'm just kidding, it's awful. Definitely don't read that. There's always a fine line between hearing enough about a book that you're like, you know what, I've heard quite a few people say it's good, I should pick it up. And then being like, I've heard too many people say it's good, I shouldn't pick it up. I wonder where that line is for most people. Because there's some things, if I hear a lot of people saying something is good, I'll probably want to check it out. Unless it sounds like something I wouldn't like at all. Then it doesn't matter whatsoever. If a lot of, if everybody is telling me something is amazing, if it just doesn't sound like something I'm interested in, um, there's too many other things I wanna read. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother. The next one says, I'm ashamed because I love him now, but for years I avoided Joe Abercrombie because it made me think of the store, which I hated. I don't know, I was young, ha <laughs> ha. That is the best thing I've heard all day. That's amazing, oh my gosh. I have to say, when I heard Joe Abercrombie's name, I was like, oh, Abercrombie, like the store. But I <laughs> I definitely didn't not pick up the book because of the association. That's super funny. The next one just says, ugh, I'm tired. That's a reasonable reason, I think, to not pick up a book. Because when you're tired, you're not gonna probably remember what you just read. I know my poor husband sometimes, he can fall asleep anywhere. So if he's sitting reading, and he's getting really sleepy, he'll just like drop his book <laughs> and then that wakes him up. And then that's when he'll turn to me and say, I think I need to go to bed. He then will have to the next morning reread what he had been reading when he fell asleep. But yeah, to prevent that, you could just not read when you're tired. I think that makes perfect sense. The next one says it's too small. So it's funny because we just had another one that said it's too big. So it's like Goldilocks here. This next one says, I do a lot of reading on the bus and was afraid to be seen in public with certain books. Aw, I think that happens to a lot of us. There are some people who I applaud because when they say, I don't care what other people think, I'll read whatever I want, they really mean it. They will take their books anywhere. They won't take the book sleeve off. They don't care who's around. They will read it. And then there are people who are kind of in the middle where they, they'll read whatever they want to read and they don't really care what you think. They just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> and then there are people 
that are like, I just don't even want to bring certain things on the bus with me at all because I don't, I don't want people to know. And I feel, I always feel kind of bad. Wouldn't it be better if we were a lot less judgy? The next one says, terrible cover. Yeah, we got quite a few of the cover was ugly. Got a lot of cover ones, it looks like. Um, this one says, I can read books online now. Hmm, I'm curious though. Not every book's available online. Are you saying you only read online books? Or are you saying you pirate books? Because that ain't right. <laughs> Continuing, the next one says, I didn't like the name of the main character. Oh my gosh, you guys are really vicious when it comes to the names thing. We got Arch Nemesis, we got Joe Abercrombie being like a store. The next one says, not liking the main character's description. If they sound annoying, I put it back. I get that. I'm a character-driven reader for the most part, so if I don't like the character, sometimes I will stop reading a series because character just annoys me a little, a little too much. Next one, cheesy cover. There's another cover one. Next one, I have a book hangover. That's not silly. That's really reasonable, I think. Sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to judge your guys' like, you guys don't know what's silly. Next one, the movie cover was the only one available. Okay, this is especially true for me. If I go to the bookstore and there's a book I want and it's just the movie cover, I'm like, mm, I'll hold off. I might refrain from, if it just says like cover was ugly, didn't like the cover, I'll probably leave those ones out unless I see something that's really specific about the cover. So anyway, moving on. My cats always use my books to scratch their faces. Sometimes I just give up. This next one says, believing it can't be as good as the first in the series and that I could ruin the series. Oh. <laughs> next one says, I put it down, couldn't find it for a week, and never finished. This next one says, not wanting to break the spine of a beautiful paperback. <laughs> I feel like... That is a lot of respect for an inanimate object. I get it though. I get not wanting to damage your books, but to not read it though? You haven't even, you didn't read it because you didn't want to break the spine? I, maybe start reading things digitally. I think this next one is one of the most relatable. It says, didn't like the person recommending it to me, even if they actually had good taste. <laughs> oh man, have any of you not experienced that? I wonder if there's a divide of people that are a little salty and then there's a divide. The other side is people that are like, I mean, if it's a good book, it's a good book, you know? Right next to that one, like diagonal from it, somebody says, my ex liked it. So yeah, we're, we're some salty bookworms over here. The next one says, because I know I'll enjoy it too much and then be sad when it's finished. What an interesting uh, perspective. I'll enjoy these things too much and then they will end. So I shall not let myself enjoy them at all. Man, I would be so much healthier of a person if I had that approach to food. Next one says, falling down the rabbit hole of YouTube videos. Yes. Okay, to reiterate, we are super salty because someone else said someone I don't like loves the book. Another one that's kind of similar says, Someone who hates fantasy and sci-fi recommended it, so I decided never to read it. Okay, this next one. Whoa. It says, because I was in a cult and everything was bad. Whoa. That's intense. The next one says, the bookshelf was too far. Right next to that one says, they, this person didn't pick up a wise man's fear. The book was too heavy for me, so it was on the shelf for a long time. I am learning that we are shallow because we just won't pick something up if the cover is ugly. We are salty because we're like, I don't like that person and they like that book, so I don't want to read that book. And apparently we're also super lazy. This next one is like, uh, is that the author had a weird name. They can't help that. They can't help having a weird name. That's, man. I mean, I'm glad you admitted it, but maybe uh, I, I suggest to not necessarily keep it with, with that. Oh my gosh, this next one. I didn't like the texture of the pages. What does that even mean? Did it not feel like paper? Was it made from something that wasn't... I don't understand. You have to... If you watch this, please elaborate because what? I think I'll go ahead and, uh, and stop there. Thank you to all of you for submitting your silly reasons why you haven't picked up a book. And even though sometimes I was 
a little flabbergasted or thrown off. I actually really do appreciate that you guys are willing to to admit the, you know, the, the silly reasons why you haven't picked up a book, because this was a lot of fun. If there's anybody out there who is really looking to put bookworms down, I just provided them with lots of ammunition, but it was a good time. I had a good time. I hope you guys did as well. If you're wanting to participate in these types of of little question answer things. My Instagram is EB Novels. I'll have it linked down below. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later. Bye.